What's up, guys? It's SRT Fredo. Um, coming to you live right now from my SRT to yours. Uh, a couple things. Uh, had some issues uh, with uh, some knocking in the bottom uh, from the transmission. I think it was a transmission, but uh, something was going on. It started knocking, freaked me out. Um, didn't know what to do. So stopped it, checked it, looked under it, got it home, lifted it, nothing. Couldn't find anything. Drove it again. Um, didn't do it again. Didn't do it again. I got something right now. So it was just strange knocking um, coming from. I know it sounded like it coming from the transmission. Uh, hasn't made it since but I try to get in there and um, you know see what's going on but anyways it went away and then in regards to the popping like the, the air kind of like pop deflating almost when I'm hitting boost uh, when I went ahead and changed the, the Mopar air filter with a new one uh, let's see here it's Spectra I believe you guys can see it right here Spectra, looked at it, looked at a whole bunch of them, looked at some K&Ns, and, and um, yeah, there it is. anyways, it's red. Um, I had to get through it, through the fender right there, the inner fender, so. Um, come to find out, you know, Spectra's top five, one of the top five um, air filters out there, so I went ahead and got went that route. Um, it wasn't necessarily the cheapest and it wasn't the most expensive, but <laughs> changed it out, tightened it up, haven't had an issue since, and I'm feeling more power. It, you know what? Something was going on with the other one because the Mopar one, it almost seemed like paper and it was fuzzing up and it was like, you could tell it wasn't, it wasn't, the air wasn't going through like it should. And, um. Anyways, uh, pop that one out, put in the Spectra, haven't had an issue. Uh, I can feel it's making even more noise now. The, 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 the air that's sucking in and out, uh, the breathing of the, of the intercooler, I'm sorry, of the cold air intake is, is much, much improved, I believe, by the Spectra. Um, uh, mushroom hotel, whatever you want to call it. Mushroom filter, blah, blah, blah. I uh, got a lot of names for it. Um, so yeah, so I recommend it. Um, it comes to changing out maybe your, your uh, cold air intake. Now, my, my piping is still Mopar. This is still Mopar, original. This is all original, this is CARP compliant. Because being in California, you only have some um, options, only a few options that are carb compliant in regards to passing, smog check, and all that. And this Mopar connection is one of them. So um, I had to go that route. But in regards to the actual filter, you can go any route. You can go k &N, you can go Mopar, you can go a and &E, uh, and m or whatever it's called. Um, and there's several more, but... I looked at Spectra. Spectra was in the top four, I think, when I looked it up and did research, did online, everything. So I went that route right now. You know, in the future, I can change it out. If I don't like it, I'd do K&N or, or uh, you know, something else. So, yeah. Running good. Doing good. Looking pretty good. Um, yeah. That's it, guys. I mean, uh, besides that, no issues. I did order a brand new decal right there for that where the 2.4 turbo is gonna come in red so I did order that little little decal so when it comes in I'm gonna install it and see how it looks make it look make the hood pop a little bit with that riding <clears throat> kind of like this but instead it's gonna say 2.4 turbo 2.4 liter turbo um, yeah, guys, that's it. 
no issues besides that clanking. I just hope it doesn't come back. I hope it didn't come back. Because I was like, oh, man, there goes something. Another issue. But it hasn't come back. Got rid of that. So let's hope it doesn't come back. Got rid of the issue with the popping and the deflation. Once you hit a certain amount of boost, it's not doing that anymore. Um, and yeah, so we're good to go. We are good to go. So I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the views. Um, you know, subscribe, like, please. Trying to get my channel going. Trying to get the channel up there, you know. Uh, but, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, this is fun for me. This is fun for me making these channels. Uh, uh, making these videos on my channel and, you know, doing that. Oh, I was going to change out my thermostat. What do you guys recommend? Um, my... Uh, my coolant thermostat. It, I think it might be off a little bit because it, it is reading a little high sometimes. Uh, it, but it's always at, at the at the middle point. But it's never under the middle point. It's weird. So I don't know if it's the thermostat that needs to be changed out. So I'm thinking of doing that. What you do? I've seen, I saw a couple videos. You got two screws. Well, let me focus. You got two screws. This one and. And that one right there, that one. Um, you take those out, you pop this out, ooh, it's hot. Um, then the thermostat is underneath there. But when you do that, you wanna make sure 100% the car is cold. So I would recommend doing it early in the morning when it's been sitting all night, uh, which I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna change that out, I might record it. Um, I don't know how old it is. I, I got in contact with the uh, with the uh, original owner. Like I said before, this is only a one time, a one, a one car, uh, <laughs> one customer. I was gonna say one customer, one owner car besides me. So I bought this from the original owner, and uh, so I get lucky. He, I get to text him once in a while. Uh, like I'm having, like uh, I'm, I'm thinking of changing out the 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 fuel pump and he did that already so i don't have to mess with that um you know but in regards to the thermostat i'm thinking of doing that since it's a simple swap you know i don't have to take it a mechanic or anything i could just do it myself so it's running clean it's running really clean now <clears throat> in regards to the diablo tune i got a couple questions in regards to that um when I did my Diablo tune, I did a, an easy tune first. I came, I did an easy tune first. That's the first thing I did. So I got it set up, did an easy tune. It was performing well, blah, blah, blah. But then I wasn't hitting my zero to 60s in the low fives. I mean, I hit it at 4.9 at once, but I was hitting five flat, five one. Five twos was my bet, uh, my worst time. Uh, I think, it, no, actually, I think I did a couple five fours maybe one five five um and then uh after that i went in there and you go in there and you do advanced tune you click on advanced tune you can go back in there and mess with it again so once you're done with the tune the easy tune doesn't mean you can't go back in there and mess with the other stuff <clears throat> like your fuel um you know make it more aggressive running a little leaner this and that which i'm trying to figure out the 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 calculations to that because I kind of want to mess with the fuel but then I don't want to mess with it because I don't want to mess anything up anyways um, from uh, two to three thousand rpms from three to four and from five to six so anyways I was redlining at six I think it was like six six uh, six two and then I wasn't hitting zero to sixty on second uh, on second gear it was hitting like 58 so I went ahead and, re uh, and raised my uh, my um, uh, the speedometer thing uh, to hit the, the 7,000 RPMs. Right here. So I was hitting, I was hitting roughly 62,000. So I went ahead and, and, and uh, reset it to 7,000 so now I can redline at 7,000 I'm not I'm not 
when I'm punching it, I'm still swapping around 65, 67, 100. But I want that option, right? And since I did that, you know, it's, it's been great. It's been great. I haven't had any issues at all. <clears throat> um, so what's that, that's what I did when I went back and did an advanced tune. I changed that. And then I eliminated, I changed the, and, and by the way, 7,000 is the highest you can go. You can't go over 7,000. I know the meter here reads up to eight uh, red line, uh, but it's only up to uh, 7,000 in the, um, in the Diablo tune. So once I did that, I also went in there and, um, and, um, <clears throat> What I do? Oh, I raised up the uh, the speed limit, the speed limiter <laughs> to 160, uh, or maybe it was 170. Just I, I kind of just did 170 or something like that, it's 165. So you could change that, or you could just eliminate the, the that that type that option where you just don't have a, a, a limit. Uh, you don't want to blow up your car though either. You don't want to be going past the 160. You don't even know how fast you're going. And then, boom, something blows up. You don't want to do that either. So I'd be careful with that. So I think I put it at 160, 165. <clears throat> so yeah. So if you have any other questions, and then you can go back in and change tire size. Uh, again, with the fuel, um, just little stuff. You can just mess with it. And, and it, it's not going to permanently, uh, it's not going to permanently, um, set anything in stone until you install the tune so you can go in there and check it out what are the options and stuff but until you say install tune it won't install it so don't be scared that it so if you start messing with it it's going to install it right away it's not going to do that it's not going to do that so um i i i, I had that thought in my head too so well had it in my head so um Definitely need to change these out. Uh, yes, need to change those out because uh, that engine bounces way too much. Um, so definitely need to change those bars out. So uh, that's the next step. But otherwise than that, running clean, running lean. What a great machine. All right, guys. Uh, oh, intercoolers. Any recommendation? Because I heard uh, if you go bigger than what they have here, it can give you turbo lag. Because uh, my turbo, I'm not planning on upgrading my turbo right now at least. I'm still keeping the stock turbo. I'm trying to keep this engine to the minimal upgrades. So, so, so far, it only has this cold air intake and the Diablo tune. And uh, changed the spark plugs to the NGKs, uh, which gave me more boost. That's it. And so I'm thinking about the intercooler, but I get a, I'm reading a lot of results where you know if you change your intercooler a bigger one, you only want to do that when you get a bigger turbo, and you don't want to do it when you're still keeping a stock turbo. So I might just change it with the same size just to get it a bigger upgrade. Not, I mean, sorry, not a bigger upgrade, just a better, a better look, but keep the size the same. I'm thinking of doing that, so I don't know. If you guys give me your recommendations, so that's it. All right, guys, um, anything else comes up, I'll let you know. Please comment, uh, subscribe, message, suggest, anything, guys. I really appreciate everything, um, but yeah. That is it from my SRT to yours. Peace.